Hi everybody and welcome to another edition of Simon Says Let's Learn English. I have a question for you. What is the difference between me, my, mine and myself? And when do we use them? Take a look at this example. The doctor told me to take some tablets for my headache. In this example, me is an object pronoun. Now, in my last video, I mentioned that an object pronoun receives the action. So in this case, the word me is the object of the verb told. As for the word my, then this is a possessive adjective. It's possessive because I'm the one that has the headache. It's also an adjective because it describes a noun and in this case that noun is the word headache. Look at the next example. This book is mine. Now here I've used the word mine to show possession, to show that this book belongs to me and no one else. The word mine in this case is a possessive pronoun. Possessive pronouns usually come at the end of a sentence, whereas possessive adjectives cannot be the last word in a sentence. They must be followed by a noun. Now let's look at the following sentence. I taught myself how to swim. In this sentence, the word I is the subject. The word taught is a verb. Now, because the object of that verb is the same as the subject, then we can't use the word me in this case, as we did in our first example at the beginning of the lesson. We have to use what we call a reflexive pronoun which in this case is the word myself. A reflexive pronoun tells us that the subject and the object of a sentence are the same. So the object reflects back to the subject, just like a mirror reflects back your image. Now once you've understood this, then it should be fairly easy for you to learn the other types of pronouns and possessive adjectives. For example, him, his, his and himself. Look at these sentences. The doctor told him to take some tablets for his headache. This book is his. He taught himself how to swim. Let's look at the first person in the plural. Us, our, ours and ourselves. The doctor told us to take some tablets for our journey. This house is ours. We taught ourselves how to ride a bike. Now in this last sentence, notice, notice how the reflexive pronoun changes at the end in the plural form. Right, now you should be able to make your own examples with other pronouns and possessive adjectives, just as I've done. If you do have any problems, however, then feel free to leave your questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe for more lessons from Simon, Simon Says, Says Let's, Let's Learn English. English.